Come here. Come here. All right. Come here. Okay. Take some deep breaths. <sighs> Say this with me. All right. You ready? Med school ain't going nowhere. Now we could talk. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Aaliyah Mead. For those of you who may not know me, I am a rising first year medical student. For today's video, I felt an overwhelming need to talk about the period before medical school, that period called the gap year period. For those of you who are not familiar, I took one gap year off before attending medical school. That gap year was probably the best thing I could have done for myself overall. So in today's video, we're gonna chop up how to number one, decide if the gap year is for you number two how to decide what to do during your gap year number three how to navigate the gap year and number four how to tie that bad boy back to your white coat so without further ado you know how it goes by now go ahead and get comfortable get yourself some pen and paper and let's get to it guys already know before we just dive into what we're gonna really talk about we gotta break down what we're talking about for medical students who are interested in going into medical school directly after finishing undergrad at a secondary institution and getting their bachelor's degree that's called going straight through if you are that person who wants to go straight through you're gonna have to be applying to medical school and sending your application off no later than that July of your junior year if you're someone who that opportunity has passed or you are comfortable and you have committed yourself to taking some time off for various reasons that's called a gap year period and it can be from one year all the way to however many years that you think is sufficient enough for you to be best prepared for medical school there are several reasons why people decide to take time off before dedicating the rest of their lives to medicine I'm gonna be honest with you it is actually the norm to take time off before medical school School. Medical school is a lifetime commitment and it's not going anywhere. Medical school ain't going nowhere. So it's all about the pacing of your life and it's all about the development of who you are so that you can pour into others. So that's the gap year and that's what we'll be referring to. Okay, you ready? You good. Let's go. The most common way that people decide to take a gap year is that they are very honest with themselves when looking at their entire set of work and activities and experiences. If they notice that they are less developed in an area, maybe like research or clinical experience, if they notice that they don't have a lot of community service underneath their belt, maybe their grades or their GPA is not where it needs to be. Those individuals decide to use their gap year to strengthen those aspects of their overall all application to medical school. If you are not confident in your ability to fulfill all of the requirements for the particular medical schools that you're interested in, I would highly recommend considering time before applying. A lot of us are multidimensional, right? And we have a lot of different passions. And if you are very vocal about your passions on your medical school application, for example, mine was teaching and youth development, mentorship, tutoring. I, my application was very, very vocal about my deep interest in that particular area of service. And I noticed that yes, I did have community service opportunities where I was tutoring kids at high schools and I was running mentorship programs and I was doing this and doing that, but I wanted to further my experience in that passion. You you can and it is in fact encouraged for you to take some time before medical school and intentionally pursue developing your skills and your experience in that passion when you begin your path to medicine following the first year of medical school you get one summer break and then after that it is very much so a lifetime commitment that can sometimes make it more difficult to really fully commit yourself to developing another passion and so a gap year can also be used to do that Another choice for people to take a gap year is to financially set themselves up to be comfortable and be able to matriculate through medical school without having to worry too much about their finances. People will go home and really grind it out and save money so that they can save up to even apply to medical school and then make it throughout medical school being financially secure. All right, 
so we've already kind of established that the gap year before medical school is something that you are set to take already if you are past that deadline of your junior July to apply to medical school. So if that's you <laughs> and you haven't consciously decided yet on a gap year, you kind of are taking a gap year. So welcome to your gap year experience. Now we got to figure out what you're going to do. Now let's talk about how to decide what to do during your gap year. I encourage you to pursue something, number one, that will strengthen your application, number two, that will be aligned with your interest, and number three, that could prepare you financially for medical school. Um, I cannot tell you exactly what to do, but there are some telltale ways to go. Now, if you're a person who is lacking in clinical experience, I would personally recommend that you take your gap year to do shadowing, to work at a doctor's office, to be a medical scribe, to do something that will show a medical school admissions committee that you have gained the clinical experience to be able to decide if medicine is really for you or not. If you're someone who needs to take the gap year to develop your GPA and develop your academic portfolio, I do highly recommend looking into some post baccalaureate or post bac programs at specific universities and or prep programs that you can enter into that will serve as a pipeline to get you into medical school at a particular location. So I do recommend doing some research and finding out which programs fit you and develop you most most productively for medical school. If your application is lacking in the area of research, then I would highly recommend applying to some summer positions or maybe some year-long positions that would afford you the opportunity to work in research. Now that can be bench research, like in a wet lab, or if you are a person who is interested in doing field research and getting out of the community and asking people questions and doing interviews, that's also a form of research. If you're an individual who's lacking in community service, I encourage you to go and find some sort of organization that would allow you the time to serve your community in the way that you're most interested in or creating your own lane and serving your community on your own or maybe with a group of friends to show that you have a dedicated interest in serving others and the list could go on the list could go on but when you are deciding what to do during your gap year again you need to look at what holistically will make you a better applicant to medical school what will make you a better person overall what will make the biggest impact to your community and those around you these are the big questions that you need to reflect on when deciding what to do for your gap year. who make the most out of their time before medical school it's almost like when you meet them you can taste the seasoning in their personality like you can taste the wisdom in their experience you can tell that someone who spent their time before medical school really diving deep into experiencing life they've got this different aura about them and so I encourage you guys that if you are taking your gap year use your gap year to boss up on every single level of your life if you're a spiritual person use it to develop yourself spiritually if you are concerned about your finances use it to develop yourself financially learn a new skill increase your financial literacy if you are a person like me who was learning an entirely new profession I built a laundry list of skills I was able to learn how to lesson plan classroom management I was able to learn how to use computer systems to grade kids work you can literally come out of your gap year a whole nother version like you 2.0 or 3.0 so that's the goal of the gap year make the most out of it and you don't have to figure it out the first day of your gap year experience build one as you go so maybe in the middle of your gap year experience you say hey I want to learn how to play piano start taking piano lessons and learn how to play piano because everything that you do when you are filling in your gap year period will build on the person that you are becoming so I want to encourage you guys when you are taking your gap year yes think of the one thing that you want to do but then use that one thing to branch out and make the most of your experience. If you've come to the end of your gap year experience and you are now on the brink of starting your medical school education, there's one last thing you gotta do to ensure your gap year closes out with a bang. You gotta know how everything you experienced in your gap year relates to where you're trying to go with medicine. So a pro tip for you guys is by the spring of your last gap year or by the spring of the closing of your gap year period, you need to start taking some time to jot down on paper how everything that 
that you've experienced made you a better person, the effect that it had on the people around you, and how it relates back to what you're trying to do moving forward. Because you will be asked to relate everything that you've done to how that's going to help you be a better servant in terms of a medical doctor, how it's going to make you be a better person, and how it's going to make you be a better medical student. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope today's discussion about the time before medical school was worthwhile and that you were able to use something that was discussed to ensure that you are filling in your gap year the best way possible. Before you get back to filling in your gap year, do me a favor and hit subscribe if you haven't already and turn on those post notifications so you never miss another video like this one. Without further ado, I wish you guys nothing but the best and I know that whatever you choose to do with your time before medical school will be well worth it. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Until then, bye-bye.